The state of Israel from its very beginning is against, was against Judaism, against Jewish teachings, against traditional Judaism. It happens to be that according to Jewish teachings, the creation of a Jewish state is forbidden. According to Jewish belief, Jews are in a divinely decreed exile since the destruction of the Second Temple, and we are forbidden to create a state of our own, even without oppressing other people, even without having this on the land of Palestinians and on the account of Palestinian lives and livelihoods. But when this happened in Palestine, and the way this was done in Palestine, by oppressing an entire people in a such a cruel manner, this is simply going against many other commandments and rules of Jewish teachings. This is an embarrassment for the world Jewish community. This is unfortunately an embarrassment for the Jewish religion and is a desecration of the name of the Almighty. This is bad from the very beginning and it's even worse because we are standing here almost a century later after the invention of, this, of the philosophy of Zionism and things are not, it's still not going better, it's getting worse. When we, the Prime Minister of Israel is visiting Ottawa, the capital city of Canada, supposedly representing all Jews, supposedly representing the entire Jewish community worldwide. This is an embarrassment for Jews. The State of Israel does not represent world Jewry and its leaders do not speak in our name. When we are talking about encouraging war against Iran, happens to be me, myself, and several other of my colleagues visited Iran several times. We met in person several times in lengthy discussions with the current president of Iran. We never found, even once, anything they would have against Jewish people as Jews. Certainly we wouldn't consider their political stance against Israel to be anti-Semitic. Yes, they do have a problem with Israel. Yes, they do have a, a concern about the oppression that Israel waged and still is going on against the Palestinian people. Well, we agree on that. It's terrible. It's embarrassing. It's disastrous. It's a catastrophe for Palestine and it's a disaster for humanity. It's a danger for humanity, including the Jewish people. Certainly they are putting myself in danger. They are putting in danger our communities in Palestine, in occupied Palestine and worldwide. If the state of Israel is speaking in our name, they are confusing the masses to, to represent them as the representation of the entire Jewish community, certainly that's a danger. What we say and we call out and we stand up ready for decades, we need to remember the, the very distinct difference between Judaism and Zionism. Judaism is a religion, the Jewish people are the ones who follow the, the Jewish religion. We never were a political people and we never had a nationalism for our goal. It, Judaism, what Judaism meant was only religion. What Zionism did, they transformed Judaism from a religion into a nationalism. They transformed the Jewish people from a, a religious people to a people of war and conflict, which is embarrassing. We stand up and we say that the state of Israel does not represent us, does not represent many Jewish communities worldwide, and certainly does not represent the Jewish religion. As Jewish people, we are required to pray to the well-being of our nation. We pray for the well-being of Canada and for its leaders. And Jewish teaching teaches us that live Malukham Vasudam Biyad Hashem, the minds of the rulers and leaders are in the hands of the Almighty. We pray to the Almighty that he should lead the leaders of this country to peace and to harmony and not to war. And we hope and we pray, what we say this already for decades, we pray for the peaceful and speedy dismantlement of the entire state of Israel. We hope this would be peaceful without suffering of anyone 
Arabs or Jews. At that time, we certainly hoped that the peace that did exist in Palestine and other Muslim countries prior to the invention of Zionism would be able to be the case in the future. The peace that did exist despite the difference of religion. We did respect one, one, one each other and we did live in peace and harmony and we hope and we pray that this should be the future soon in our days. Ultimately we pray for the revelation of the glory of the Almighty to be revealed throughout the universe and all humanity should serve the one God in peace and harmony. Amen. My name is Rabbi David Feldman with Nature Kart International Jews United Against Zionism, www.nnckcanada.ca. We are here today because unfortunately the Prime Minister of Israel came to Ottawa, the capital city of Canada, supposedly representing the entire world Jewish community, which is totally wrong. Many, many communities worldwide, religious Jewish communities, are upset with Israel from the very beginning, already for decades back. Why? According to Jewish religion, according to Jewish teachings, and according to traditional Jewish belief, Jews are in a divinely decreed exile since the destruction of the Second Temple about 2,000 years ago. We are forbidden to create our own state, even without oppressing other people. But when this happened in Palestine, by oppressing an entire people, the Palestinian people, this is simply a violation of many other parts of Jewish religion. This is embarrassing when this is being done in our name. When this was done in our name, it still continues. It's even worse because we see no end to it. Now, when the rep representative of the state of Israel comes to represent the entire Jewish people, represent our communities worldwide in Israel and in Canada, simply embarrasses us all. And this is being done in my name as well. Uh, when the people speak about encouraging war against Iran, we say this is not Judaism, this is not Jewish tradition, this is not Jewish teachings. We need to remember the difference between Judaism and Zionism, between the Jewish people and the Zionists. But Judaism is a religion, a religion only, and that's it. Versus Zionism is a political movement seeking nationalism, dropping the entire religion. The Jewish people, ever since, were the people of the book, the people, religious people, serving the Almighty, practicing Jewish religion, and that's it. No nationalism, no political inspiration. What Zionism did for Judaism for the Jewish people is a terrible disaster. Transforming Judaism from a religion, from a spirituality, into a nationalism, politics, and that's it. Which is terribly embarrassing to Judaism as a religion. And we stand up and we say the state of Israel does not represent the Jewish people and its leaders do not speak in our name and this is not the voice of world Jewry. This Jewish teachings say that minds uh, and, and hearts of leaders are in the hands of the Almighty. We pray that God should lead the leaders of this country to peace and not to war. And we hope and we pray and we plead with the leaders of Canada, please do not support Israel. This is not the support of the Jewish people. This is not the support for humanity. This is unfortunately a danger for the Jewish people and for humanity.